view on the market, which by the way is not doing too much today. To be honest, the Nifty is just gravitating between the 15,700 and 15,800 mark. It has come off from the high point quite a bit, so the trend is still on the downside and the pain is reflected in the mid-cap end of trade. So mid-caps are down over 200 points right now. Uh, Ashish, you know, uh, the overarching theme really is that this is a sell-on rally market. It's visible every day, almost every hour. Is that something that you're going to take forward for the rest of the day? Does it make sense to short afresh? And what are the individual stocks to look at now? Uh, hi, uh, afternoon to you and all the viewers. Absolutely right. See, this is a sell on rise market right now. Very important observation that I have is that 15,860 to 15,900 has been the key level of resistance because uh, there was a severe gap down that we saw on 13th of June. And that is the big gap area. And Nifty has constantly failed not to give a single close about that 15,860 uh, to 15,900 level. Having said that, it means that there is selling. There are sellers who are sitting right there at 5,900. And 16,000 is already seeing high OI buildup. In fact, even 5,900 is seeing a huge call open interest buildup, which means crossing that level is not going to be an easy task for the bulls. If that has to happen, it will happen with a gap. Now, on the downside, I think the trend will remain negative because we opened up higher, we went upside, trapped the bulls, and now possibly we will move towards the lower end of the range, which is at 15,690. Once that 15,690 or 680 breaches, then there can be a resumption of the down move. So in order to play for intraday, possibly short at the current levels, expecting a target of around 15,690 on the downside. And if that is breached, possibly we will head towards that 15,500 mark. Now, now, from the stock-specific perspective, the first stock is on the buy side is Shriram Transport Finance. It has continued to outperform, about to give a strong breakout from the multi-resistance level we saw in past many weeks, which is around 1240, and it's now trading above that level. So one can create long positions in Shriram Transport Finance, keeping a strict stop loss at 1205, expecting a target of around 1350. And the next stock is on the sell side is India Bull Housing Finance. We have clearly seen this stock has been on a downward trajectory. The medium term trend remains negative. The short term remains negative. It just showed a minor pullback, broke down now, and it might head towards the level of 87. That can be the target. And stop loss for India Bull Housing can be at 97.50. All right, Ashish, I want to ask you about Everready Industries. You know, that's one of the stocks that's bucking the trend. It's up close to around 8% up there. And that's why the, uh, you know, the up move was a bit capped. But yesterday, I think there was the uh, AGM that did, did take place. And uh, they're sounding rather optimistic. They're talking about the price increases that they've taken. That'll hold them in good stead for the first quarter. Remember, quarter four was absolute washout. And they're also saying the debt in the books is close to 340 crores. That's likely to come down as well. That's about the fundamental news. But on the chart, uh, Ashish, um, uh, how's it looking? On the chart, absolutely, Nigel. Uh, I think the stock has managed to break above that multi-week resistance, which was at 322 currently sustaining about that level of 323, 22. I think it is a very good, strong bullish candle that is showing. What will be important is the close of the day because we have seen many times in this market, the trend is very strong, but by the end of the day, the profit booking starts and the stock moves lower. So if the close is about that 320 mark, maybe we are heading towards that 350 levels on the upside. That's a very important resistance. So 350 is what I'm looking at. Long positions can be created, use dips to create long positions as long as uh, the low of 310 is protected. So any dip towards 320 buy or 350 targets, 310 is the stop loss. All right. Uh, well, thanks a lot, Ashish, for joining us and uh, giving us those views. Any disclosures? Uh, I'm not holding any of the stocks. All right. Okay. Thanks for that. Well, let's uh, move on. Uh,